New body cam footage has been released of Taylor Show Business and it's Show Nasty and we're going to talk about it in today's Show video. Hello Sofa Squad and welcome back to the Sofa. Sofa's back there, I'm right here. My name is Paul and today, like I said, we're going to be revisiting a case. This is the case of Taylor Shabusiness. Yes, you heard me right. That's her last name. This case was horrible. This case was tragic. This case was a nightmare. It was all those things. Now the way this video will work is we're going to talk about the case, the overview of it for about, you know, maybe like 57.3 seconds. Okay. And then we're going to jump into the updates. Now what I've done is most of this came from law and crime. I've I've just extracted some of the the highlights of it if you will that are according to me at least but i do urge you to go to long crime watch the whole thing if this is of interest to you because it is interesting i just kind of pulled out some points to be talking or parts to be talking points so that being said let's very quickly talk about who is taylor show business okay so this is back in 2022 february 23rd now the two people involved in this is the victim shad therion and then of course taylor show business who was technically i guess like his lover they basically had been out there partying doing all sorts of stuff they go back to his mother's house and they you know partake in activities with one another if one thing leads to the other and she ends up taking his life but it doesn't end there she does sticky icky things with his remains she takes the remains apart mother will find his head in a bucket it's one of the most grotesque horrifying things I've heard in a long time. It is up there with Jeffrey Dahmer, as well as many of the actions that she did against this victim, Thad. So, or Shad, I'm sorry. I keep, I constantly mix his two, his first name and last name up and call him Thad. Shad. So I apologize. But it was absolutely horrible. Now, it didn't end there though, okay? Taylor would become absolutely next level throughout her case, the pretrial motions, as well as the trial itself. So oftentimes during the trial, we would see her making these bizarre faces, looking directly at the camera, laughing, doing all this type of stuff. Even her father would take the stand. She would kind of communicate with him. He was doing time himself. So you could kind of get a trajectory of maybe how she ended up where she was at. However, that being said, she did not have this extreme tumultuous life like someone might have guessed. There is a level of pure evil to her clearly there is something going on upstairs right i mean let's we have to you know address that but yeah this was kind of a look into like absolute evil you know she would often be seen in court with a spit mask on and even one time during one of her uh like pre-trials or whatever she just starts attacking her lawyer so i mean this was in the level of cases like with daryl brooks like this kind of outlandish behavior maybe not in regards to representing herself but just somebody who was unhinged so you can only imagine what she would have been like out on the streets free bird doing all sorts of you know illegal things substances things of that nature as well as what she would be like on them and you can only imagine the last moments of that's life i mean i it's probably it, you know i mean he's with the person who he you know was with had feelings for whatnot and she ends up doing this to him so again it was an awful crime now again fast forward what we're going to be doing now is looking at some clips of some of these the the body cam footage some interview things of this nature that came out and we're going to use those as talking points so let's go ahead and get to the first club you know they make you happy it was just kind of exciting like a christmas present like, or... i don't know it's, like this is the this is the thing that i have like i've always had you know like you ever love something so much that you kill it like it, it happens to me, that's the feeling that I have. I love something so much that I kill it. Like, I love it so much and then I kill it. That's what happens to me. Well, oh, isn't that lovely? What kind of lady you want to take home to mom and dad? So she loves something so much that she takes its life. What is that cartoon? I'm going to love it and squeeze it and name it and call it George. Like that kind of thing, right? You know these cops? Had to be sitting here like, oh, what? This is the other thing. Like, she's the heinousness of what she did to this guy in his basement of his mother's house and leaving body parts everywhere and a trail of, you know, blood and whatnot. And then to see her talking like this, you're just like, ah, uh? like you're talking like it's a joke. And I think to her, it is a joke. Let's look at some more footage. 
Okay, so here she is. She's in the backseat of the car. Now, this is like soon after they picked her up, right? She's back there. She's laughing. She's yelling. She's doing crazy stuff. She's talking to herself. Look at her. Now, I know that this is like, you know, that green camera kind of thing or whatever, night vision or whatever. Look at her eyes. I mean, she's toasted. Now, here's the other thing you're seeing. This is her posing. Like, they're taking pictures of her. And we'll get to this in a minute. This is her, like, posing for the picture that they're taking of her hands and the injuries. That's how, I mean, literally it's a laughing matter to her. Now, in a second, when we look at some of those clips, we will get a little more deep into, like, the facial contortions and things of that nature that I see her do. <laughs> I got a warrant off of my wrist. I mean, I wonder at this point when she's talking about, oh, there's a warrant out or whatever. It's like, does she know? Like, she surely knows, right? At this point, like, why she's back there, like, for what? Again, you would never think that she had done what she had just done to this guy. Let's listen to one more clip of that. <laughs> it took him out. It took him out. I mean, can you, so here's the thing too, you know, I say, oh, the poor victims, the, you know, the parents be like that. I mean, we saw that take place. I mean, it's very hard to number one, lose a family member in this manner, in this capacity, but then also to then see the person up there talking about, I took him out, woo, and all this. I mean, this is unhinged behavior, okay? If you look up unhinged, this, this, this is next to it. She's next to it. I mean, just the name alone, just the name alone. Let's keep going. Parts of this audio have been redacted by the Green Bay Police Department, but you can still see what's happening. Taylor Shabiznis is being handcuffed. Contact Anybody else in your apartment? Do we have it? Adam 3 come up? He's got some here. Get up here. One. One. There's what they came back to. Yeah. Yeah, now, here's the thing. I'm sitting here watching this. This is like up north of this takes place. You see the snow. It's very obviously cold. She just chills me to my bone. Now they've blacked out a lot or blanked out a lot of the words there, as you can hear. They are arresting her, obviously. Now this is moments before we see her in the back seat of the car, right? Just, you know, comes out, what's up? You know, she comes out to the thing. They were out in the parking lot, right? They're seeing blood on the, the snow, on the car. Like, I mean, it's like that level of just no caring. She comes out, I'm just kind of like, hey, what's up? You know, surely knowing what's going on. Another officer shows these same moments from another angle. Hi. This has we have contact. Contact with you. Anybody else in your apartment? No. What apartment is she in? A third perspective shows her arrest again, this time with better audio. Thank you. This has we have contact. Once the business is cuffed, she's taken to a squad car nearby. We're just going to go ahead and nickname her Jeffaria Shabiznis Dahmer, okay? Because that's just, there. there's something so off with her. I don't know how to describe it. And I, I, I don't, I mean, just the way she's standing there. They're coming up. And I love that they had the different angles from the thing, right? This is definitely one that if you haven't watched, you need to go to Law and Crime and watch the whole thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you need to go watch it because it's, it's very interesting. But highlight wise, I just find it so, I, I can't get past the the dead eyes, the demeanor, the mm, the laughing, the joking, the g being jovial. I, I mean, I, it's it's giving Michael Myers, like you know what I mean. Like if you've watched the Halloween franchise and Michael Myers, how he has those, like they talk about the there is nothing in the eyes and all that. That's to me, it's like she's a female version of him, but obviously she talks and is animated and stuff. So, anyways, let's keep going. Well, I'm going nuts right now. Okay. You shouldn't be in the back of my car too long, okay? I'm more nuts right now. It's not really clear what she's talking about or who she's talking to, but Shabiznis is clearly angry in this video. I got a big issue right now. Hate that mother. 
hate that one. I hate seeing double. I really do. All the time. All the time. This is annoying as I can't wait to get out of this car. Yeah, I'm having issues right now because I can't see straight. I can't see straight at all. This is an issue. I can't see straight. And I can't see Those eyes, literally, y'all. I, that's what I'm talking about. I'm seeing double, I'm seeing double. This is one thing, like a trademark with her, whatever you want to call it, or how, I don't know how you would say it. Not a trademark, but like, um, you know, a hallmark of her behavior or whatever you want to call it. Anyways, the way that she will look at a camera, like whether it's in court, like pretend like, you, pretend this is court, right? Pretend y'all are the camera like that we see at home or TV. This is her. Yeah, and you're just like, I mean, at home when you're watching it, you're like, um... Is she locked up? Because I feel like she's going to come get me. The way she does it in the police car, it's like she'll just sit there. But look, let's all make note here, though. I'm sitting here in a room by myself doing the same damn thing to a camera, but actively conversating. So, I mean, we have to make note of this, okay? We have to make note, okay? I'm not saying I'm going to do nothing like she did, but let's just make note. I can't, you know, call the kettle, uh, uh, the pot calling the kettle, all that kind of stuff. Now, the beginning where she was like, I'm going F nuts. I'm going F nuts. That look on her face. In fact, I'm going to put a screenshot of it up. Okay, so the face that she makes when she's like, oh, I'm going nuts. Like that turn on a dime like that. And that's what I would imagine. Like when she's sitting there talking to Thad or like anybody really and how an instant something can trigger her in turn i don't know what you call the disorder i mean obviously i'm not like a doctor or a lawyer or anything like that i would be care okay so two things two people these are the people who i would love and they might have i'm just saying this right now i have to go back and look these are two people who i'd love to see analyze this um hidden true crime talking about this and that i cannot think of it, the body language channel with the four guys on it but also that one other dude who does them the deception detective so three people those three channels would love to hear them do something on her just the behavior because like this this instant turn that she does with her face i'm like what is there but then also some of the highlights from the trial i think would be a very good deep dive for body language or psychological people to look into obviously or if you're new to the channel i ain't none of that okay <laughs> <laughs> okay, we don't have those credentials. We just have the sofa, okay? And some sassiness, okay? Let's go to the next club. Why am I being detained such as this? So, there's some circumstances that happen where we believe that female is involved. Yes, you are correct. What do you mean you're correct? You are correct. Okay. I called the police on her. Why? Because she took off with my car earlier. Okay. She's on ankle bracelet. Okay. I called you guys. Okay. okay. I called you guys. This is for man. something way more important than a stolen car at this point. But I, still, I, I called her on you. First of all, can we acknowledge he's lucky to be alive? Okay. 100% like he sounds a little inebriated. I don't know him. I was not there. That could be the way he talks. He could have just been woken up. So there, I do not know. That could be my own ignorance, but there sounded a little bit like slurriness going on. He could also be scared and confused, whatever. But you heard him. I called y'all. She ran off. Can you imagine finding out that your car was used in that? And then like, he doesn't know. They're like, this is far more serious. And again, I'm sitting here thinking, now I get it. I would be like, bro, I called you and you're arresting me. I mean, isn't it ironic? Don't you think? <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. But on the same note, I'm like, dude, they probably saved your life. Like, I'm sorry. But the, where she went with this, anything's possible after that. Let's go on to the next one. This way. At this point, Tomes is in the back of a squad car. How do you know her? I've she been just taking care of her for quite a long time. Just have you sit in the back here where it's warm, okay? All right. Again, nothing better be touched okay. in my apartment. Right here, right here. Tomes maintains he called for police help, but doesn't know what's going on with your business. I'm trying to figure out why I'm being handcuffed and I'm in the back of the squad car. 
Okay, so again, so I, I wanted to put this up here just again. Totally get that he's confused. I get all of that. This is definitely like a bro. If you saw what we just saw, we have to cuff people and ask questions later. Now I love how he said there better not be anything messed with in my apartment. It's like, dude, you have no idea what she just did and i'm not laughing at what she did but it's the audacity for me right because he's probably thinking that you can look at her track record and be like okay what kind of drug stuff does she conjure like what drama you people don't think even with somebody torn up like this with it's your business that they went off and did something like this and then even in the spectrum of being like Oh God, she took someone's life. You might be thinking like, oh, is the deal gone bad or whatever? This info that came out about what she did, you know, get the damn sofa seatbelt. You know what I'm saying? Or you're going to fall off the sofa, right? I mean, you're not expecting it. It's, it's crazy. These are some of the first moments after Shabiznis's arrest when she's being held at the Green Bay Police Department. You can tell because she's still in the outfit she was wearing when she was arrested. Now that's the thing, they keep doing the little blackout thing or whatever, but again, she just sits there and acts like, you know, that hat on, that's just so weird. Now, we're gonna go watch, remember the clip I showed you in the beginning with her hands and stuff like that? Okay, we're gonna hear the audio part to it, but a lot of it's out. This is another one, watch her face. Watch her face, okay? Oh, my arms up? Arms up, just like you had them. There you go. Arms out again. And keep the arms out for a while. Get a good one on my thumb. All right. All right, this hand. Can you pull your sleeve up a little bit? Thank you. Can you turn your hands over for me? There you go. Pull that up a little bit. There you are. Thank you. Okay, now let's look again at her face in this. Like, so again, now she might be completely tweaked out right now, right? So not that I'm saying that that makes it okay, but I'm just kind of like trying to figure it out. She might be totally tweaked out here because like notice the first thing she's like, Ugh. and you're like, Ugh. like we know that she's willing to attack on command basically. I mean, look at what she did in the courtroom to her lawyer, right? So like here, I'm like, she, these officers are lucky she didn't go off. Now mind you, they're armed, whatever. I, I've trusted they could, you know, take care of themselves in the situation, but she seems absolutely feral right absolutely feral and maybe to a degree she is you know what i'm saying like maybe maybe she is and maybe that's where again not to say it's an excuse but it's such odd behavior and even like so again, here's one thing that i see oftentimes in the comments or things like that or whatever even if you compare it because like this is one thing i do with this i almost want to say you might expect this in like a male as opposed to like a, a woman doing this but even this kind of feralness i'm like no there's something different about this this isn't like a oh you see this in testosterone driven this is like again i just use feral feral is the word and it's a very unique type thing that you so rarely see in these moments or whatever where they're just like this Aah. but she is Aah. let's keep going so a rate of one to ten rate of one to ten how's that pork sandwich Oh man, it was a six. <laughs> Not great? It was good, it was good. I, I just should have got the ribs. I want to make sure we're thinking of the same kind of building. So they're driving her around to like to find something or whatever and you see they got her a barbecue sandwich now again the evidence in this i'm like well i guess i'm not surprised that she could eat a barbecue sandwich but it literally turns my stomach even thinking about it okay she's laughing she's doing this now the cops of course are going to do this because they're trying to make her comfortable they're trying to get information from her this is just what they do it's how it goes it when it's what needs to take place right so those are the clips that i wanted to talk about now again she 
as you can imagine, a hundred percent was convicted. <laughs> right? This was a no brainer. I mean, she showed out so bad in the courtroom. It was just, you know, I think they tried to go for a sympathy thing, but the behavior was so all over the place. She will probably do well in prison, I would imagine, because she is so aggressive and so out there. A hundred percent does not need to see the light of day. This is a dangerous human being. Very little regard for life. And I imagine, I'll bet she'll take more life inside prison. You know, maybe when she comes down off of everything and whatnot, but she did while she was incarcerated and we still saw this crazy behavior. So, I don't know. We will see. This is not the last of show business that we have shussing. And on that being said, let me know what you should think in the show comment section. Oh, God. So, go ahead. Drop in the comments. Let me know what you think. And again, drop some little sofas off in there for me. Roscoe and Spirit, so we can come down there and hang out in the comment section and talk about show business and all the other show crazy cases we talk about at the show sofa. Maybe we should change it to show sofa. <laughs> The Shasofa Sha Squad, right? So, anyways, that's it. I love you guys. I appreciate it. Until I see you in the comment section, we'll talk soon. I just wanted to say thank you again for watching the whole video and also thank you for being part of the Sofa Squad. Special thanks to all the Patreon members, channel members from both of my channels, everybody who likes, shares, subscribes, comments in the comment sections. It helps the channel out so much. Now, don't forget, I do have that other channel, the podcast channel. That's where we go live, we hang out, we talk. I we have kind of sort of a schedule, but just be sure and check it out. I'll put it up here on the screen. Also, if you're looking for merch, be sure to check out my Teespring store. I'll put that up here. And then, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you want to follow me and Roscoe on the Insta, on the gram, on the Instagram, go on, check it out. It's right here on the screen again. But once again, thank you very much. I really appreciate you being part of the Sofa Squad, and I'll see you in the next video.